Hi everyone, I hope you guys are keeping well. It's been a couple of weeks that I haven't had a chance to make any video for you guys due to our newborn baby who's doing really well and her mom is doing really well. And today I've had a chance to actually start recording again. And I'm going to start this video with a workout routine for cervical disc bulges as I promised for you guys in my previous post. In this workout routine, you're going to follow a warm up of workout exercises and a cool down routine that can help you stay active while you're experiencing cervical disc bulges. This routine is suitable for any level. You don't need that many equipment and it's pretty straightforward. Let's get started. At the end of this video, I'm going to share with you three important tips that I would definitely suggest you to follow while you're doing these exercises, which can help you recover quicker and stay active without creating any sorts of flares up. If you've never been in this channel, my name is Bob, I'm a physical therapist, and the purpose of this channel is to help people like yourself with simple tips and exercise for quicker recovery. Make sure to subscribe my channel for my weekly update, and don't forget to press that like button. We are going to start this routine with neck stretch in four different directions. Each stretch can be hold for 15 to 20 seconds, depends on your time. You're going to breathe in and out, while you're doing this stretch and avoid all stretching in direction that does not feel comfortable. Try to go to within your comfortable zone and try this routine for three to four rounds. The next move is gonna be shoulder rotation, forwards and backwards. You can try this for a couple of rounds and try to warm up your upper back and your shoulder. You're gonna move on to each arm and shoulder stretch you want to hold each stretch for 10 to 15 seconds. Try to breathe in and out while you're doing these stretches. You are going to move on to Cat Camel, which is a simple but effective stretch to basically mobilize your upper back and your lower back. You're going to hold this stretch for a few seconds in each direction. You're trying to breathe in and out while you're doing this stretch and try to avoid moving your neck or your back to the range that it does not feel comfortable. Your hands, it's underneath of your shoulders and your knees are underneath of your hip. We are going to move on to the workout, which we start with isometric hold. This strengthening exercise can help you to strengthen your neck muscle without activating or moving your neck can hold each strengthening movement for five seconds for three sets of five to eight repetition in each direction. As you can see, my neck does not move. I apply 20 to 30 percent of my maximum strength with my hand and try to minimize the movement in my neck. You can practice this exercise on a daily basis. We are going to move on to back extension and in this move, I'm trying to basically extend my neck and get those upper back muscle activated. This not only activated my upper back muscle, but also helped my neck extensor to get engaged. And try this exercise for three sets of eight repetition and try to breathe in and out while you're doing this exercise. You are going to try the same strengthening exercise with your body weight and the side bent movement. We are working against gravity. We are going to try this exercise for three sets of five to eight repetition. In each set, you can hold the movement for two to three seconds and depends on your own range of movements, try to get the full range of movements. You're going to practice in both sides gonna lie down on your right side and try the same thing. While you're doing this exercise, try to avoid any jerky movements in your neck and try to move towards the comfortable range of movements. This simply can help you to strengthen your cervical neck muscles and in this exercise, you're using your own body weight. Now we are moving to neck flexor muscle, which as you can see, 
I'm not coming off the ground. I'm, I'm gently lifting only my neck and hold it for a few seconds at the top. You're going to breathe in and out while you're doing this strengthening exercise. Try to do this exercise within your comfortable range. We are going to move on to rhomboid or more specifically lower rhomboid strengthening exercise with the resistant band. You're going to pick up the resistant band that is comfortable and try to copy my technique while I'm doing this movement. I simply lean forward and stretch and lean back and squeeze my scapula muscles to get it and hold it for a second. While you're doing this exercise, you try to avoid lifting your shoulder up and pulling at the same time. So you want to drop the shoulder down and try to work around your own comfortable range. Try to focus on the lower rhomboid muscles and try to squeeze them together. You can try this exercise for three sets of eight to 10 repetition. The next move that we're going to do in this routine is gonna be chin talk, which is a simple but effective strengthening exercise for your deep cervical flexor and extensor. This movement can simply be done with your two fingers. And as you can see, I show you from the side, you create a slight movement with your chin and you move backward. You can hold this movement for a few seconds. And to practice this, you can see simply in front of the mirror, you're creating a double chin for yourself. You can practice this exercise for three sets of eight to 10 repetition, two to three times through the day. Try to breathe in and out while you're doing this movement. The next move that I'm going to show you in this routine, it's gonna be scapula squeeze, which is a great mobilization exercise for your scapula. In this movement, you're trying to mobilize your scapula and the muscle around it within the comfortable range of movements. You can try this exercise for three sets of eight to 10 repetition. You're going to move on to thoracic mobility, which is a simple but effective exercise. If you're suffering from cervical disc bulges or neck pain, this movement can help you to increase the mobility of your upper back and your neck. As you can see, I try this movement in both sides and I'm trying to go through a range that is comfortable and I can actually create movements. You can try this exercise for three sets of eight to 10 repetition in both sides. I show you two different variety of this exercise in this routine that you can try to practice both of them at home. You can simply try to go through the range that you feel comfortable and in time, you can gradually progress that range. We are going to move on to the last exercise that I'm going to show you in this routine, which we call it wall angels, but I'm creating a modification routine for you on the floor that you can do the floor angel. In this movement, we're trying to expand our chest and thoracic movements and try to get a full range of movements in overhead. Try to keep your elbows and your arms on the ground and slowly and gradually try to get the full range of flexion of your arms. Try this movement for three sets of eight to 10 repetition. The first tips that I would like to share with you guys is that in many cases, when I have a patient in my clinic or I'm doing online consultation, I see many people who has issue with their neck. They're too worried about their posture and they're trying to overcompensate and try to stay too upright and tense a lot of muscle in the upper back and their neck. I would definitely suggest my patient to step back and try to sit comfortable as much as possible, which means using a desk that you're using or a chair that you're using in work or at home you should be actually comfortable while you're sitting in your chair and trying to relax those muscles. I do have a, a video specifically for posture that I explained for you certain things that you need to remind yourself in a daily basis regarding your posture that I would definitely leave a link here for you that I would suggest you to watch those videos. The second things that I would like to share with you in this video 
which is very important is that you have to identify those activities or tasks that you do through the day that bothers you and modify those activity which means if you know that lifting certain object in a certain way does aggravate your neck and your shoulder and it creates spasm you gotta avoid doing those activities or getting help from somebody at home or in work in addition if you think sitting for prolonged does aggravate your neck and create that stiffness i would give myself a break every 30 minutes or 45 minutes the last tips that I would like to share with you in this video is that you need to start to improve your breathing pattern. What does that mean, breathing pattern? We do have two different type of muscle group for our breathing, which we divide them to primary muscle group, such as our diaphragm muscle, or secondary muscle group, such as basically your upper neck or upper chest muscle. These are the muscles that usually get overworked due to our habits that we become a chest breather. When you're a chest breather, you're using these muscles a lot and that can actually over-aggravate your neck pain or your shoulder stiffness. I would suggest my patient to utilize their diaphragm breathing, which is a practice over time. It doesn't happen overnight. I do have a video that I'll leave a link below for you that you can actually see how I teach my patient to utilize their diaphragm over the upper chest muscle group. Definitely give it a try. You have to be patient and practice this in a daily basis. In this video, I share with you a workout routine for cervical disc bulges that can help you stay active while you're experiencing this condition. However, if you are suffering from cervical disc bulges and you're looking for some sort of exercise for treatment of your cervical disc bulge, I have another routine in my channel that I leave a link below and you can basically try that before you're doing this workout. However, this workout is pretty low impact. There's no harm to try these exercises in a daily basis. If you have any question regarding your neck pain or these bulges, please leave me a comment underneath of this video. I do answer most of my first question that I get in my channel. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to press that like button. Until next week, all the best.